Okay, I just did something really stupid. <laughs> I went to scrap some badges and tapped too quickly. And instead of scrapping a common health badge, I uh, re-rolled the slot. So not only did I waste re-roll tokens, I uh, jumped myself out of the list uh, where I was. So I've off-screen just uh, crafted some to get back to the A-list. Um, and what I've actually done is I've um, crafted back um, and I'm now on AO4 on the list. Uh, the reason I've done that is because there's actually quite a nice little loop here. Um, and it gets me to show you some of the other ways other than just stepping. So I'm on AO4 now. And you'll see here um, I can jump to EO5, which is a dodge retaliate or bullet dodge legendary badge. Uh, badge. Um, and um, it's highlighted in uh, a yellow box. Um, and that's because the only place you can find odd positioned uh, type of this trait is uh, on these yellow blocks elsewhere off the A-list. The reason that's important uh, is because you want to be able to split your damage reduction and health badges into odds and evens. Um, otherwise you'll end up with loads of damage reduction and loads of health all in uh, even slots. So you'll never be able to make a full set. Um, so you do need to know how to do this. Um, and that's why I'm covering it now. So jumping uh, is one of the harder ones to do. Um, you've got the jump recipes here, down at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to use one of those. Now, I'm jumping from AO4, which normally doesn't have a bonus. When you want to jump, you want it to reverse that. So when I craft this, uh, I'm going to be hoping that it a badge comes up showing a bonus because that means I've been successful. Okay, um, so let's try that for now. Um, so we're going to craft um, using a step jump recipe. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use B C C C. Let's hope for a bonus. Yes, never ever been so happy to see a bullet dodge bonus. So that means we're successful, and we have now jumped to uh, EO5. So that's what happens when you try and uh, jump when there's a no bonus on the badge you're expecting, such as A4. If, however, you're trying to jump from a badge position which does have a bonus, let's say AO5, you try to jump to C22. Where it has a bonus, or is expecting to have a bonus, you're then looking for no bonus. And it has to be no bonus. It can't just change the bonus. So if you were jumping on A5 and you got a hero bonus instead, that's still not successful. And this does make it harder to jump from uh, a badge where there should be a condition because you're only looking for that one non-bonus whereas with if you're trying to jump from a badge that has no bonus you've got all the other bonuses to choose from so your odds are um, in your favor when jumping from a4 um, and more likely to fail when you're jumping from a5 or something like that so bear that in mind when you're planning your jumps and we have now jumped to uh, eo5 which is a damage reduction um, type badge or health badge. So I did health last time, so I'm going to do damage reduction this time. Uh, damage reduction is not a metal cloth cloth. And we've got damage reduction with a dodge trait. So that's really nice. Um, and it is actually sort of in the middle of uh, of the range uh, as possible. So, uh, yeah, really happy with that. Um, and now we're on EO5. Let's go back to the list and have a look where we have to go from here. 
so EO5 we can either step down to EO6, EO7 and EO8 or we can try and jump back to the A list. Um, one thing about stepping here is you'd step to, down to CO9 over here which would take you back at A10 which is a good badge on the A list. Uh, rather than jumping around, I mean, you're going to have to step through, through these badges unless you want a Hunter Warrior Assault. Um, so I'm just going to step through. Um, so we've done EO5, and we're now doing EO6 and EO7. So we want the step recipe again. I'm going to go back to my AACC. And we do EO6. I'm just writing down these numbers as I go to remind myself where I am. EO7. That's nice. Um, EO8. So that was EO8 I crafted. So I've now stepped to CO9. Um, and C09, when I use it, it'll be blank and it'll step me to A10. So, next badge I'm crafting is A10, which is Lucky Marksman Sure Shot. Um, I haven't got that many legendary left, um, I don't want to take the risk, um, so I'm just going to step um, and see what I get with um, Epics. Wouldn't be a too bad a badge. Um, it'll probably get used that one, to be honest. So that was a ten. Um, back to damage reduction, uh, a damage reduction type badge. Dodge, retaliate, bullet dodge. Um, so I'm going to do craft. It should be a health, but I think I'm going to be low on. No, let's just do it. Let's do a health badge again. And we got... Now that is a very nice health badge. In fact, that's the, the best health badge you can get. Um, and... Well, I say the highest values you can get. And I really hope that's going to fit on one of my bruisers. If not, I will probably re-roll that. Because it's maximum. So I want it to fit, um, and I'm willing to spend some reroll tokens on it, unlike that grey rubbish I did by accident earlier. <laughs>